The wood carvings of the Marana represent their cultural heritage as well as the beliefs of their people which stem from Muslim and Islamic roots. The artful patterns on Marana wood carvings are called dhokab which is a term for the geometric and flowing designs, comma, often based on an elaborate leaf and vine pattern that can be found in Marana and Muslim influenced artwork. In the Philippines, an ancient proof of Oka's style of flowering symbols is the Torrigan, the ancestral home of the highest title holder in a Maranao village. It is a symbol of power and prestige usually adorned during festivities. Its prominent part is the Painolong, a carved beam that protrudes in front of the house and styles with Oka motif. The Oka design can also be found woven or printed in textiles carved into wood and cemetery markers, wooden boxes, as well as knife handles and sheaths for tribal swords. Sinkil dance takes its name from the bells worn in the ankle of the Muslim princess. The Sinkil recounts the epic legend of the Darangan of the Maranao people of Mindanao. This epic, written sometime in the 14th century, tells the fateful story of Princess Gandina, who was caught in the middle of a forest during an earthquake. The rhythmic clapping of crisscrossed bamboo poles represent the trees that were falling, which she gracefully avoids. The dancers use fans or a pier and scarves to symbolize the winds that prove to be beneficial for the princess to successfully escape the trees and rocks from hitting her tiny feet. Finally, she is saved by the prince. When performed by ladies of the royalty of Lanao, the dancer is usually accompanied by a waiting lady who holds a beautifully decorated umbrella over the princess's head wherever she goes. Royal princesses to this day in the Sulu archipelago are required to learn this most difficult and noble dance. Pagapir depicts a royal manner of walking among the Maranao people who live mainly around Lake Lanao. Ladies of the royal court perform this stately dance in preparation for an important event. The ladies gracefully manipulate the apir or fan while emphasizing their small steps or kinikini, which is a sign of good upbringing. Also called Sambisa Malo, this Maranao dance shows the many ways of wearing a mano, a simple, tubular, yet highly functional piece of cloth. The traditional women's version shows this cloth of countless colorful designs, used mostly as a skirt, woven in many different ways, depending on the purpose of the wearer. During more recent dance documentation, a man's version was derived. This version shows a masculine rendition, how men don the malo, displaying its use as a sash or waistband, shorts or behalf, and headgear for either fieldwork or a decorative turban.
Kulintang is a term loosely used to refer to a variety of musical ensemble. This and some are characterized by the use of a row of small gongs supported by drums and various large gongs. Kulintang provides the melody associated with grace and delicacy. The set is thus played traditionally by women. On the other hand, because agong and dabakan demand strength, firmness, and endurance, they are played by men. The notion of tonality, which is premised on the diatonic scale, doesn't apply to all cultures. This is evidenced in the Maranao Kutyapi, which was forged by a tradition different from what we usually hear in radio or concert halls.